The Golden Ganassi Cadillac was fastest in the opening free practice session for the Mobile One 12 Hours of Sebring. <coughs> Renga van der Zander set a 148.279 to end the 90 minute morning session fastest, four tenths clear of the wheeling Cadillac of Jack Aitken. Nick Tandy was third quickest for Porsche Penske, ahead of Brendan Hartley and Louis Delatraz in the Acuras, with Conor Di Filippi rounding out the top six for BMW. Lamborghini had a challenging first session in GTP, with them taking over half an hour to get a lap on the board, doing only half the mileage of some of their rivals and ending up 10th in the times. The Iron Lynx team running the cars had a bit of a nightmare. Across their four entries, they picked up six drive through penalties for procedural errors, and both of their GTD Pro cars stopped out on track. But worst luck hit Proton Competition and their Mustang sampling Porsche 963, as Jan Maria Bruni stopped on circuit on his outlap to bring out the only red flag of the session, with the car failing to resume. Their GTD Mustang also had problems only joining the pre-practice in the final few minutes and turning just eight laps. In LMP2, Mikkel Jensen went quickest for TDS Racing, ahead of United Autosports duo Paul DeResta and Ben Hanley, whilst Vassa Sullivan topped both of the GT classes, thanks to Jack Hawksworth and Parker Thompson. Daniel Serra in the Risi Ferrari was second in GTD Pro, with Seb Prio third aboard Rexy, and Tommy Milner top Corvette in fourth. Four cars didn't get a lap time on the board. The Proton GTB Porsche, Paul Miller Racing BMW, Era Motorsport LMP2, and Conquest Racing Ferrari. But all of them left the pits at least once, and other cars with limited mileage included the Lone Star Racing Mercedes and Gradient Racing Acura. Free practice at Sebring continues with two more 90-minute sessions today, as the teams get ready for tomorrow's qualifying ahead of the race itself on Saturday the 16th of March.